Hi there. In this video, I want to show you how to create a Visual Studio C++ project and then add a property sheet which allows for you to use the Boost C++ libraries. I assume that you've already downloaded and installed the Visual Studio 2017 Community Edition and that you've already downloaded and installed the uh, Boost C++ libraries. Let's get started. So let's just open up Visual Studio 2017. And then we're going to create a new project by clicking on File, New Project. And it's just a Windows console application, which we're going to name Boost uh, Example, and is going to be saved inside of the uh, default directory. Just click OK. Okay. So what we're going to do next is add a property sheet to our project. So if you haven't already got the property manager open, you can find it under view, other windows, and here, property manager. So it'll just open up. Then expand out the project, and you'll see that there's a number of build configurations. In this video, we're going to add a release x64 property sheet. So right click on that and then click add, uh, sorry, add new property sheet. And we're going to name it boost underscore x64 underscore release. And I'm going to click add. If we expand the release folder, you'll see that our new property sheet is here. Double click on it. There's two things we need to add to our property sheet. It's where our include directories are and where our additional library uh, directories are. If you click on C and C++ and we can click on additional include directories and we can edit it and add a path. Now I installed um, the boost libraries into my E drive and it will extract out into um, boost underscore and then the version. So I've got the latest version 1.67. So if we open that up that's uh, all I need to do. Select folder, and then go OK. The next thing was the additional library directories. So we click, edit, add a new path, browse to, and this time we browse to boost, and then stage, and then lib, and then that will have all of the, um, the, the additional libraries. So select folder, OK, click apply, then OK. So if we change the build configuration to release and x64, we should expect that when I type in the hash include directive, that if I start typing boost, I have access to the boost libraries. And that's what we can see here. So let's just finish off this video with a, a simple bit, uh, program, which just basically counts for one second and then breaks and stops. So we're going to create an input output context, boost, so, IO context, name IO. Uh, then we need to create a um, timer. So we're going to create one boost ASIO. And then it is going to be a steady timer, which we're going to call timer. And that's equal to boost ASIO, steady timer. Give it an input up context and then how long we want that timer to basically time for. So we're going to use boost ASIO chrono uh, seconds and then just we'll just get it to count for one second. Okay uh, we'll get it so it can print out start so and stop so we'll just type in uh, we add the IO stream header so we'll get it to then go standard see out We'll tell timer to wait and then we'll tell it to print out when it's finished. Stop standard line and we'll just tell the system to wait for me to press a key so that the console window doesn't disappear straight away. Okay, so that should be fine. Let's build it. Uh, 
And there you go. We saw start appear straight away, and then one second later, stop appeared. And then, as I said, it prompts us to push a key to make it go away. So there you have it. I've shown you how to create a uh, Visual Studio project and add a property sheet, and how to uh, add the include directory and lib directories for the Boost C++ library. I hope that video has been helpful. Thanks for watching.